Okay, so in this video, I'm going to go over the repeated string problem found on HackerRank. This is being pulled from the, the technical interview preparation kit. I'm not going to go over the entire problem statement that they have here, but it's essentially saying that we're given a string S of lowercase characters, and it's repeated infinitely many times. And then the second parameter we're given is an integer N, um, and then we're supposed to find the number of letter A's in the first N letters of this infinite string. So if you go down, we can see some constraints. So there's a constraint on the length of the string. There's also a constraint on the first N characters. And then um, they also point out that the test cases, um, they're using large, large values of N. So this is an indicator that we have to be careful of any, any timeouts that it's going to happen. Make sure algorithm is, a, is efficient on this problem. And then they also give um, some sample input, some sample output. So when I first read this problem, um, there's a couple cases that I have to be wary of. Um, so we have to account for the case of how many times this full string can be repeated in n letters. So in the case of a, b, c, a, c for the string, and we're given an input of uh, n is 5, then that'll fit nicely in there. So all I have to do in that case is just count the number of a's in that full string. And then there's another case where this string also gets cut off at some point. So we can say in the example I just given for the string, um, the first n characters or the first n equals three characters. And that would be a, so we don't get the full string. So we have to account for that. Okay. Jumping right into the implementation of this, I'm going to set up my return variable. Just set that as number of A's, set that initially to zero. And then at the end of the function, I can just return. Now we can do the actual work of this problem. Okay, so the first case we need to account for um, n being greater than the length of s. So in that case, we can just count the number of a's that are occurring in a single string s and then times that by the number of times s can be repeated in this in the first n characters of this infinite string. So if n is greater or equal to the length, and then we can count the occurrences of a in that single string. I'm going to make use of some JavaScript operators. I'm going to use the spread function. So this is spreading every character within the string into an array. So each element of this array is the characters found within the string. And then I'm going to filter that array by only the A's found. And then I just want the length of that to see how many A's are in that, in that single string. And then what I can do is I can see how many times n, or sorry, see how many times s can be repeated in the first n characters of this infinite string. And then we can times that by the number of a's we found in the, a single instance of that string. So we can do a map that floor. Math the a flooring of the, uh, of n divided by the, the length of the string. And we can times that by the occurrence of, it, of a. Okay, so this is the case that s can fit evenly some number of times within the string. There's also a case of uh, a substring of s at the tail end of these, of these, uh, these evenly repeated strings.
if they even exist. So we can do the, let's call this tail string length. And then I'm gonna just do n modulo, and then the length of string. So this will return the remainder of that division. So this is the um, this is that substring at the end. And then what we want to do for this case is we just want to loop through the string length. So, and we can iterate over the initial string that we're given. And then i is less than the tail length. And then all we need to do in this case is just check if that character is an A, and then we can increment the number of A's. And I think that just about does it. So we're handling the case of S repeating some number of times within the first N characters and then accounting for a substring of S. Okay, we can run this code. It passes the, the sample test cases, we can submit it. And it passes every case. Okay, if any of you guys had any alternatives, alternative ways of solving this, let me know. Let me know in the comments and stick stick around for the next video. Again, I'm going to go through all the the problems found on HackerRank, at least the interview preparation kit.